Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction horror film, Blood Glacier. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. In 2014, a climate disaster was expected to happen. It is predicted that after 10 years, all of Antarctica's ice will be gone and alpine glaciers will disappear. And certainly, life on Earth will forever change. At the beginning of the movie, a technician named Janik is sleeping with his sloppy dog inside his barracks, located along the Alps. He's working with a team of scientists stationed there, but he does not have a good relationship with them. The group of scientists consists of Curly, Dr. Baldy, and Dr. Skinny. They are complaining to Janik since he still not fixed the climate data transmitter in Station 3. They say to Janik that he needs to fix it before the minister arrives tomorrow. In response, Janik promises to fix it soon. As he walks outside, he finds his dog seriously staring at something. He then calls the dog to eat. Soon after, Janik, his dog, and Dr. Skinny prepare to hike to Station 3. Dr. Skinny asks him why he chooses to live there, but he refuses to say anything. Along the way, the dog suddenly runs away from its path, possibly looking for some smelly shit. They follow it, and the dog leads them to a glacier that appears to be red. Dr. Skinny gets curious, so they come near the red glacier. He thinks that there's an organic being that makes the glacier red, so he gets a sample out of it. Meanwhile, the dog runs inside the glacier cave. There the dog encounters a dying fox. A creature seems to be growing inside the fox's stomach. The creature appears to come out of the stomach, scaring the dog shit out of the dog and causing it to bark in pain. Janik hears it and immediately stands up. His head hits something and he gets injured. He then rushes to search for his dog inside the cave. He finds his dog struggling in pain from its bite wounds. As he looks around the cave, he finds the dead fox, but he still hears a creature inside. He walks outside with his dog and treats the dog's wound. Dr. Skinny asks what happened, and he replies that a fox with rabies probably bit his dog. He wipes off the blood out of his head wound, and the dog licks it for breakfast. They soon come back to their base, and Curly checks the glacier sample. Curly thinks the sample is living organisms. Janik is still suffering in pain due to his head injuries. He tells Dr. Baldy that they need to warn the minister about the fox with rabies. In response, Dr. Baldy gives him morphine for his headache. Meanwhile, the minister arrives in the Alpines near their base. She's with Janik's glaciologist ex-girlfriend, Tanya, and some other mountaineers. She then calls Janik and informs him that they will come to their base tomorrow. Janik eventually falls asleep because of the morphine. At night, he wakes up to a strange noise. He then searches the area and finds a strange-looking creature. He rushes back inside the base. He gets his gun and immediately locks the door. The scientists calm him down and say that he's just hallucinating because of morphine. Janik searches for the satellite phone, as he wants to prevent the minister and her team from going into the area, thinking that there's a dangerous creature roaming around. But Dr. Skinny grabs the satellite phone and prevents him from doing it. Janik calms down and gets his doggy. He then walks back to his room and proceeds to sleep. The following day, Janik immediately calls Tanya, informing her about the rabid fox. He tells her that it bit their dog. After that, Janik and Curly hike to the glacier, and soon they find his retinas gone. As Curly is taking a sample, Janik pours his stinky water down into a stream. A monstrous bug tries to attack his sausage, tracing its smell, but unfortunately, he manages to kick it away like a rolling watermelon. They then bring the watermelon-like bug back to their base, so they can examine it further. Curly takes a tissue sample out of the curling bug and puts it under the microscope. Meanwhile, the minister and her group proceed to hike towards the base. Along the way, they take a picture, and a bug bites the cameraman. After some time, Curly figures out the bug is a hybrid combination of a louse and a fox. She explains that the fox has ingested the glacier microorganism and blood of lice. The microorganism then absorbs the DNA of the fox and lice, which results in the formation of the hybrid fox lice. Janik then asks what will happen if an animal infected by the microorganism has ingested human blood. Curly replies that any hybrid combination is possible. This means that the glacier microorganism can form a hybrid human animal. After that, Janik checks his dog and finds it still sick. He calls Tanya, informing her to take a different path, since there is a rabid animal near the glacier. He drops the call and goes to get his gun. He wants to euthanize his suffering dog, but he hesitates as he looks at its helpless eyes. Meanwhile, Tanya informs the group to take a different path, and they all oblige. Tanya calls Janik again, and she hears their dog crying. She instructs Janik not to euthanize the dog, since she probably can treat the dog. 
On the upper side of the Alps, a random woman is running when a monstrous bird chases her. She runs in a hurry, but it still manages to catch up to her. The bird then stabbed her with its talon. Back to the base, Janik walks out to fetch Tanya and her group to keep them safe. The scientists remind her not to inform them about the mutation, because there is a journalist among the group, and letting out the information to the public can cause mass panic. But Janik refuses to oblige with their request. The scientists then try to prevent him, but he still manages to leave. Along the way, he encounters a dead ibex, with its stomach wide open. In the meantime, the minister and her group are still hiking the Alps. The cameraman who gets bitten by the mutated bug is suffering from sickness. They then take a break for a while. Suddenly, the random woman earlier is rushing towards them. They ask her about what happened, but she is unable to speak because she is still panting. The mutant bird arrives in their area, and it tries to attack them. The strong guy gets his gun to protect them, but it cannot aim at the mutant bird because it's too quick. In a few moments, the mutant bird approaches them, and it manages to stab the strong guy with its talon. The strong guy instantly dies out of the injury, while the rest of the group flocks away in great fear. As the group runs away, they encounter Janik, and they go back to the base together. They immediately give medical attention to the injured woman. The journalist wants to go outside, since the cameraman is not back yet. Janik searches for a satellite phone, but there's none on the base. He asks Dr. Baldy where it is. Dr. Baldy replies that it's in the measuring station. He then reports to Janik that Curly and Dr. Skinny went to the glacier. Apparently, Dr. Baldy hides the satellite phone in order to prevent Janik from leaking the information about the glacier microorganism. Janik gets frustrated since it's the only way to call for help. On the other side, Tanya asks Dr. Baldy about the situation, and without a choice, he reveals everything to her. In the meantime, Curly and Dr. Skinny bring the mutant bug to the other station. The mutant bug suddenly jumps and attaches itself to Curly's face, possibly looking for a facial massage. Dr. Skinny removes the mutant bug using a stone. He successfully removes it, but as a result, Curly's face gets ripped apart, leading to her death. Back to the base, Janik and Tanya check their dog. They find it still suffering in pain, and a creature is moving inside its stomach. Tanya then realizes they need to euthanize the dog in a hurry. She prepares the substance, but she lets Janik do the job. Without a choice, Janik euthanizes his old pal, leading to its death. He then ends up crying out of sadness. Suddenly, Tanya reveals to him that she got pregnant with their baby, but she ended up aborting it, which saddens the poor man even more. After that, they go back inside the base. Dr. Skinny arrives inside. A mutant ibex is chasing him, and it tries to go inside. Janik pushes it back, and they immediately lock the door. But the mutant ibex continues attacking their base. The electricity malfunctions, suddenly, leaving them in darkness. After a few moments, the ibex penetrates the window. Janik tries to prevent it, but it just pushes him away, acting like a bulldozer. He stands up and tries his best to hold the goat dozer. The minister rushes to get the drill, and uses it to drill the ibex's flesh. Because of pain, the ibex is forced to retreat. Soon after, they fix the electricity in the window. The minister says that armed guards will pick them up tomorrow, if she's not able to come back. So she suggests they just wait inside. But the random woman is dying. This forces Janik and Tanya to get the satellite phone in the station. Janik then forces Dr. Skinny to join them, thinking that he knows where it is. As they leave the base, a mutant creature begins to hatch out of the random girl's wound. The old man suggests that they can take the mutant creature out and burn it. The minister cuts the girl's wound, and blood comes out of it. She then pulls the mutant creature and cuts it out from the girl. They put it on fire, killing it in an instant. After that, the minister puts a hot iron on the wound, making the girl scream in pain. In the meantime, Janik and Tanya have a quarrel while they are hiking. Janik is still angry at her for aborting the baby, but she says that it was the biggest mistake of her life. Back to the base, they successfully treat the random girl, but she's still recovering. They drink alcohol for a while. Suddenly, the cameraman arrives, asking them to let him in. They let him inside, only to see his face completely infected. He begs them to treat him, but he soon dies. Right then, mutant flies come out of his gross wound. The mutant flies begin flying inside the base. They all panic as they try to push the mutant flies away. Dr. Baldy's lab gown is accidentally caught in fire, and it begins to burn. He runs outside and gets burned to death. The base starts burning, and the minister and the others try their best to survive. Meanwhile, Janik, Tanya, and Dr. Skinny arrive at the station. They do not find any trace of Curly there. Dr. Skinny searches for the satellite phone, but he doesn't find it. 
He finds a flare gun and sneaks it inside his pocket. Janik tells them to join him in searching inside the cave. He then finds Curly's lifeless body lying on the ground. As they get the satellite phone on her body, they accidentally reveal her face, which scares the fart out of them. Suddenly, Dr. Skinny points his flare gun at them and tells Janik to give up his gun. Tanya hands over the gun to him, and she tries to fight back. But he manages to push her away. A mutant creature suddenly comes out and attacks Dr. Skinny to death. As the creature is busy attacking him, Janik and Tanya immediately run their smelly asses away, but the creature manages to grab Janik following his smell. Tanya immediately picks up the ice tool and repeatedly stabs the creature. Janik escapes from the creature and helps Tanya stab it. They finally kill the creature and proceed to hike back to the base. Along the way, they wash their face in a river. Tanya uses the satellite phone to call for help. She reports the situation and asks for a helicopter to pick them up. After that, Tanya hugs Janik as they finally get reconciled. As they are hugging, they see smoke coming from the base, so they immediately rush towards it. They eventually arrive back at the base, only to see it's already burned down. They check a room and find the minister hidden there. It turns out, the minister, the old man, and the journalist manage to survive, but the random girl ends up dying. The helicopter soon arrives and picks them up. Before leaving, Janik and Tanya take a last look at their dog. They then see a human-like mutant creature coming out of its stomach. Janik tries to kill it, but Tanya stops him, thinking that the mutant creature is Janik's child because it's born mixed with his DNA after the dog took his blood for breakfast earlier. They then take it with them to ride the helicopter. In the end, the helicopter flies away with them and takes them to safety. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.